My name is Josh, I'm 25, and my feet are still growing. What's going on guys? Josh from SoccerReviewsForYou.com and I already know what a lot of you are thinking. If your shoes are too small for you now, why don't you just give them away? No. Now over the last month, now over the last month and a half to two months, I would say, I started to notice that certain cleats that I've been wearing in the same size since they came out started to feel a little bit tighter than they normally would. And that's something that I kind of just attributed to, hey, maybe my feet were a little bit swollen, especially if you're wearing shoes towards the end of the day, uh, really tight fitting stuff, your feet do swell up as the day goes on. So that's not abnormal whatsoever, but it's something that persisted to be an issue no matter what time of day it was, even as I was making the videos. And obviously I haven't really mentioned it up until this point, but it's become such an issue that I've come to the conclusion that my feet are actually ever so slightly bigger than they used to be. Now we're not talking about any kind of major foot growth here. I didn't go from a size nine US to a 10 US overnight or anything like that, but I definitely feel like my feet are maybe like a quarter size bigger, maybe even a little bit less than that, but it's just enough considering how tight I've been wearing my cleats pretty much for my entire life that with certain models, depending on the specific shape of the shoe, they end up being just a little bit too tight for me. So this does not mean that all of the shoes that I currently have in my collection no longer fit me. It just means that certain ones are a little bit tighter than they used to be. And basically the reason why I'm telling you this is because in the future you may see me play around with going from a nine to a nine and a half in certain models where I otherwise would just strictly wear a size nine US in 90% of the stuff out there. Now the only reason why I'm even telling you this is one, because I like to be very transparent on this channel, and two, I review soccer cleats and in those reviews a major part of them is the sizing and fit advice that I share with you guys. That a lot of you guys go off of to actually buy shoes online because most people don't have the opportunity to try these on. Now, because my foot is no longer a true size nine US, it's more so like a nine and a quarter. In certain models where I would normally wear a size nine US, I might be wearing a nine and a half now, not because I don't fit in the nine anymore, but just because that size nine US is just a little bit too tight than what I would like them to be. And I'm somebody that likes to wear my shoes really, really tight. Unfortunately, because my foot seems to be just slightly bigger, having that little bit of extra tightness now just makes them more uncomfortable than I would otherwise like them to be. So this is not necessarily going to impact every single shoe that I wear and what size I wear in that product. As an example, the Puma Future, it's got a little bit of a wider fit to it, a higher volume shape as well. I can wear a size nine US in that shoe without any issues whatsoever. I think people have to realize that when you see a shoe size as a nine US as an example, that's going to vary ever so slightly, not just based on the length of the shoe, but also the physical shape and volume of the upper width also plays a factor in that as well. So if you see me in a specific model now wearing a size nine and a half US versus a nine US, first of all, I'll mention that in the video. And the reasoning for it is just for the sake of my own personal comfort, because I don't necessarily fit as comfortably as I used to in that regular size nine US anymore. All of that to say that all the sizing advice that I'll share on this channel will remain 100% accurate as it always has been. Now, if you've made it to this point in the video, you're probably asking yourself, Josh, you're 25 years old. How the heck did your feet grow? Are you still growing in general? Are you taller as well as now having a larger shoe size? The simple answer to that question is no, but there is a logical explanation. Now, obviously people come in different shapes and sizes, taller and shorter, bigger feet, smaller feet. It's very dependent on your genetics and more or less completely out of your control. And obviously people are gonna hit major growth spurts at different points in their life as well. Some people get really tall at 12 years old. Some people don't start growing until they're 18 or even a little bit later on. All of this to say that I have not hit a growth spurt at 25 years old. Uh, basically I have been the same five foot 11 and the same size nine US soccer cleat size since I was about 15. So going into high school, I am pretty much the same size as you see me right now, at least in terms of height and foot size. Reason number one is simply age. Everybody inevitably is going to have their feet expand at least to some degree. And that's just simply due to being on your feet over extended periods of time. And this is gonna very much depend on your lifestyle. If you're sitting most of the time, your feet are less likely to expand all that much. But if you're on your feet all the time, your feet are going to expand a little bit more. They can expand in length, they can expand in width, they can expand pretty much in every single direction. It might not be a lot for some people it'll be not very much for some people it'll be a lot more hasn't been all that much for me but it is something that inevitably will happen to pretty much everyone reason number two kind of ties into 
the first reason in that over time your feet will expand, but your lifestyle and the activities you choose to do on a regular basis will have a huge impact on that. If you're sitting at a desk all the time, there's really no pressure on your feet, they're less likely to expand. Whereas if you're working and constantly walking around, or if you're playing sports and constantly running, which is kind of the category that I would fall into playing soccer, pretty much all the time, that type of movement is going to be much harder on your feet and cause them to expand very, very slowly over time. Weight training is also something that could impact this. If you're squatting really heavy weight, which I wouldn't say that I squat really heavy weight on a regular basis, but weight training in general is something that I've been doing a lot more of in the last two years than I have for pretty much the entirety of the rest of my life that could also be a contributing factor. And finally, your genetics are gonna play a big part in this as well. Everyone has different bone structure, the muscles are different, the arch type is gonna play a big role in this as well. For those that are wondering, because I get asked about this a lot, I have fairly average width feet. They're not really narrow, they're not really wide, but I do have a slightly flat foot which is not sig overly significant in terms of how I'm able to fit in most shoes, but apparently having a flatter arch is going to result in your foot being more likely to expand over time. So that could also be one of the reasons why my feet seem to have gotten a little bit bigger as time has gone on. So it's pretty much my own fault that my feet have gotten bigger over time, but given what I do, given what I like to do, and given what I will continue to do, it's something that is more or less unavoidable. It's a very, very small difference in terms of how much my foot is actually bigger than it used to be. If you're wondering about exact measurements, honestly, I don't have exact measurements of before and after, just because it's not something I was anticipating to happen over the course of 10 years or anything like that but it's a small difference that will have an impact on the size that I wear in certain shoes, not every single pair. And again, I can still wear the 9 US in a Mercurial, even though it is a little bit too tight. I would just prefer it to be a half size larger just because that's gonna be more comfortable for me in the long run. So again, if you see any differences in terms of my sizing in any of my reviews, this is the reason for it. And I'll explain exactly how the sizing still works as I've done in all of my previous videos. Anyways guys, that is it for me in this video, but now that I've done this little bit of research and actually experienced my feet getting ever so slightly bigger than they used to be, I did wanna ask you guys, how many of you have actually had something similar happen? Obviously, if you're a lot younger, 14, 15 years old, I wouldn't think that this would be an issue for you, but for those of you guys that are in your mid 20s, late 20s, or even a little bit older than that, have you experienced anything similar over time with your feet expanding? I'd be really, really curious to hear all of your stories. Anyways, guys, hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to support it with a like. As always, if you have any questions for me, leave those down below in the comments, and I'll do my best to get an answer out to you as soon as I possibly can. Subscribe if you haven't already for daily videos on all the latest and greatest soccer gear. You can find all my social media information linked down below in the description as well. Other than that, guys, thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.